welcome to the second part of our makeup special with top international makeup artist SJ from Bare Minerals. Today we'll be hearing SJ's top tips on how to apply and manage your wedding day makeup. So SJ, what are the main considerations a bride should have when applying her wedding makeup? Are there any specific products that they should use? Definitely, you know, we, we want this makeup to last all day long. Sometimes brides might be having their makeup done at seven or eight in the morning to fit around hairdressers and bridesmaids and mother of the bride. Um, so we need something that might potentially be able to last until midnight or two in the morning looking flawless. Luckily, there are some great products on the market that you can use to keep your makeup in place and keep it looking flawless all day long. For instance, to begin with, I'd always recommend using a really good primer. So what a primer is going to do, you put it underneath your foundation, it's going to hide the appearance of open pores and fine lines, it's going to soak up excess oil throughout the day, smooth out dry and rough patches on the skin, and just keep your makeup looking absolutely flawless all day long. So that's um, number one, definitely a primer. Secondly, um, a really good foundation that's going to last all day long but without looking heavy. Good foundation shouldn't need too much. You should only you know, need a little amount and that should last all day long, especially with the help of that primer as well. The other thing is, you know, weddings can be really emotional, so there may be a few tears. So um, it's really good to get a locked and coated product, something that you can put over your mascara just to keep it in place, or alternatively, you know, go for a waterproof mascara because we want everything to stay looking, you know, absolutely flawless all day long. Obviously, you're going to have a few products in your little bag anyway, like your lip gloss and perhaps um, a, a powder to touch up throughout the day. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say, you know, those key products, good foundation a primer and a waterproof mascara really important okay and obviously um, brides um, every bride is different yeah um, so there are any specific shades or looks that you would recommend definitely again um, I would always go back to my point that I made before about you know getting some advice getting some um, professional um, help with your colors and textures um, you know I'd always start again by looking through some magazines perhaps taking some tears into the department store showing some of the beauty ambassadors on the counter you know these are the sorts of ideas I like would they suit me you know get a professional opinion depending on budgets you may want to hire in your own um, freelance professional makeup artist um, but going to the department stores going to the counters um, you know getting a professional shade match for foundation and then also getting some advice from the consultants there on what might suit you for instance you know if you've got blue eyes you know go for gold go for browns they're gonna make your eyes pop if you've got green eyes you might go for like some purples or some pinks and brown eyes can wear anything but these are the sorts of things that the consultants in the department stores should be able to help you with so you know getting that key professional advice is gonna make sure that you're looking the best on your big day I don't think there's any other day in a woman's life where she's going to be so in the spotlight as on her wedding day. Um, do you have any recommendations for being in front of the camera for so long? Definitely, there's lots to consider um, being in front of the camera. Um, you know, you're going to have um, professional photographs taken, I should think. You might have filming done. Um, some might be professional filming, some might be friends. And there's, you know, things to consider on camera. First of all, hands and ears always look red. So I'd recommend using a good mineral foundation, buffing it onto the hands, buffing it onto the ears, because these are generally non-transferable, not going to come off on your clothes or anyone else's. Um, another really good key point is um, sometimes on film, and on in photographs skin can look a little bit oily on the t-zone so you may want to consider using more of a matte finish foundation which is just going to keep the t-zone you know naturally matte naturally velvety looking um, so you won't get that shine on camera the other thing is really important to consider is um, when you're doing your makeup in the morning or having your makeup artist do your wedding makeup make sure you're in really really good daylight because if your makeup looks good in daylight bright daylight um, then it's going to look good you know on any camera or on any photograph. I'd always use a magnifying mirror if you're doing your own makeup. Um, and you know, just keep you know um, a touch-up veil or something in your bag to touch up the T-zone throughout the day if you need to. Um, and again, it always goes back to you know have perhaps a professional artist do your makeup because they know how makeup looks best on camera because they're used to doing it for photo shoots, for fashion shows, and probably for television. Um, and you are going to be on camera and as you say in the spotlight all day. And when you've got those photographs, those memories, you want to be looking your best. So um, so yeah. I would uh, definitely recommend you know a really good foundation perhaps going for a matte finish and keep those hands and ears 
buffed with min with um, a, min a good minimal foundation as well. Yeah, definitely. I would never have thought about the hands <laughs> and ears, so that's really, really good advice. Good. Thank you so much, SJ. No problem. You can meet SJ and all of our other experts by visiting the National Wedding Shows. For more details, please go to nationalweddingshow.co.uk. And for further free expert advice, please don't forget to like and subscribe.